want to focus all their attention on one particular industry or at most one sector, the agricultural sector or whatever it may be. I have every sympathy for this. But we do need to remember that it can be dangerous because looking at one industry at a time and using our economic intuition can quite often lead us to possible conclusions which don't actually hold good when you look at the economy as a whole. I don't think in the sense of macroeconomic, but in the sense of this industry <coughs> being part of a system of industries which interact through the input-output system. I'm going to give a number of examples in which economic intuition applied to one industry at a time may give the wrong result relative to looking at the whole input-output system, looking at all industries simultaneously. I begin, and in the written paper I spend more time, on the question, if different industries experience Pixian technical progress at different rates, how do their relative prices change? Now see, if there are only primary inputs, it's very, very simple to construct models in which uh, the ranking of Hicksian rates of technical progress will be exactly the same as the ranking of rates of price decrease. You can just almost define it in that way. But when industries are using other commodities, other industry outputs as inputs, things are much more complicated. And I shall show that the ranking of relative price changes can be different from the ranking of rates of technical change. And then I shall uh, use similar arguments to consider the effects on relative prices of differential commodity taxation. It isn't true that the most heavily taxed commodity must be the one that rises most in price. The effects of differential profit rates relative to a uniform rate of profit system. And then finally, look at such things as how does pollution, say, respond to changes in the pattern of net consumption, net demand? It does not necessarily respond in the way which you might think simply by looking at pollution intensities in terms of gross output, industry by industry. Some industry might be, in direct terms, not a very polluting industry at all. And yet, an increase in demand for that commodity might be quite pollution intensive. intensive. Why? Well, because that industry may be using as its produced inputs things which come from very pollution intensive industries. So the, intu the immediate intuition, just by looking at one industry by itself, may be quite misleading. So let me get down to a bit more detail now. And I will start by looking at um, Hicksian technical progress. In a paper of um, the year 2000 in Structural Change in Economic Dynamics, I made a simple point about uh, a system in which the rate of interest is zero, so there are only wages as income, but there are input-output relationships. So I looked at a system in which, say, that's, I suppose there are three industries. Um, most of what I say, I should assume three industries, but the conclusion applies if there are many, many industries. Three is just convenient. Suppose the Hicksian rates of technical change are in that order. And the rates of price decrease, <coughs> I1, I2, and I3. Now, of course, in a very simple system, <coughs> with only primary inputs, no input-output relations, you might think that if these are rates of price uh, decrease,
decrease, then with that ranking of rates of technical progress, that should be the ranking of rates of price decrease. But with input-output relations, that's simply not true. It isn't, it isn't the case. Now, I'm not going to demonstrate that here because I'm now going to go to the opposite extreme and consider a system in which wages are zero and the only kind of income is, consists of profits. So if we look at equations one and two, equation one shows the system before technical progress. Prices are just equal to one plus the rate of interest times prices times the input output matrix. <coughs> equation two shows the same system after the input output matrix A has been subjected to Hicksian technical improvement industry by industry. So I post multiply <coughs> matrix A by 1 plus H hat to the minus 1, and that shows that all the inputs in industry J are going down by a factor 1 plus HJ, you divide through by 1 plus HJ. The new rate of interest is growth. 